This is what happens when you're not your authentic self and you try and be like somebody else. Now, Popeye, they should like, I don't know who was doing their marketing stuff, right? But somebody should somebody should have called Popeyes and told Popeyes, right? So this is what happened when you fake and you're trying to be like oh, everybody else. So Popeyes come out with a chicken sandwich. It's like, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on, Popeyes. Like, you know better than that. And if you do come out with one, don't compare your chicken sandwich to Chick-fil-A. I want to show y'all what y'all doing wrong. Some of y'all like, E, you, what you think, E? You think it's better? I'm not even on the chicken sandwich. Number one, in most cities, Popeyes don't even got the chicken sandwich. They didn't ran out of chicken sandwiches in most cities. You didn't ran out of chicken sandwiches. You trying to be something you not. You serve chicken, like the drum, the thigh, the wing. That's what you serve, right? So they didn't came out with the, now, I went because my wife is a foodie. So I went, to, I went yesterday. It's our anniversary day. So I went to go get the little coupon boy. I went, I went and got in line. I was like, excuse me, man. Do y'all have the, um, what do you call them? The, what do you call it? When you buy and they, you give it to a gift card. I was like, y'all got a gift card? Yo, you not Chick-fil-A. Homegirl's like, what you say? I was like, what? Are we in a place of business? Did you just ask me what I said? No, I want to show you how the different the wealth mindset versus the poverty mindset. It's a difference. The wealth mindset don't talk to people like that. But when you're just trying to make money and to focus on paying your bills and getting a check, you're not even mindful of how you're talking to a customer. She going to tell what you say? I'm like, whoa, it's, a, it's crowded in the store. So my, you know what I'm saying? If I had an ego, you bet you just bruised it. I came to you on the low. I wasn't even like, I came straight to the register. Like, now I know Chick-fil-A got them. Because when you go to Chick-fil-A and it take longer than it's supposed to take, to get your stuff, they personally give you one. That's a wealth mentality. You go to Chick-fil-A, they give you your food for free, and then hand you the coupon boy for what cookie, you want a sandwich, you want a sundae. Why? That's wealth. We, we're not thinking about money. When people think about money, you are desperate, and you start thinking about yourself, and you're not thinking about the customer, and you say some dumb stuff. So then she gonna uh, to go to the mat. Do we got uh, do we got gift cards? I said so now that what I ask you is not in the whole store. Like everybody got to hear what I just asked you. The manager in the back. No, we ain't got. No, we ain't got no gift cards. I'm like, thank you. I'm out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So number one. Popeye's trying to compete with Chick-fil-A and what you've done is you've exposed that you got sandwiches but you not you don't have wealth. Because what wealth does is wealth don't serve a sandwich. Wealth prepares a table. Ah, oh, you missed what I just said. Wealth prepares a table. Wealth don't just come out with the sandwich. Wealth makes sure everything is in order before it come out. Money don't care if everything is in order or not. Money just go. Money don't think stuff through. Money don't care because all it wants is to live now and then live now. When you get to a place of wealth, I don't even think about paying my rent no more. I don't think about paying my mortgage no more. I don't think in months no more. I ain't thought in months, in years. I think in years. I ain't broke. I don't got to think 30 days at a time. I'm not broke. I'm an ATM machine. I'm not broke. I create money. I'm not broke. I don't have a broke mentality. Lady at the bank told me how much the career was going to cost a month. I love my wife. My wife's like, I'm out of it. It's, she's like, it's too much money. I'm out. I'm like, bad. I'm good. I got it. She's like, bro, it's too much money. Like, when I see that kind of money spent, I'm like, boo, what you, we making money. What you going to do? Give it all to your kids? My son ain't scared of money. Chap. Chap, my son ain't scared of money. 
You give my man 10 grand, he'll spend that joker. I ain't mad at him. You give him 20, he'll spend it. So I told my wife, if he gonna spend the 20, you, we should spend it. Like, no, I respect my son. He didn't show me, like, he didn't show me that the next generation, they cashing out on that joker. They cashing out. <laughs> my man has showed me how to do this thing. He didn't show me. My man, he like 23, 20, he in Puerto Rico. I didn't even know he was there. I'm like, where you at? He didn't even tell me. I just found out later he was in Puerto Rico. I'm like, oh, I bet. That's how we doing it? I'm like, bet. You didn't show me. Because we were taught poverty. You work for 30, 40 years, and then you enjoy the fruits of your labor if you alive and got health to do it. They in their 20s balling out. <laughs> Listen to me. They don't care if they eat tomorrow or not. They don't even care. <laughs> they ain't even on that. Like, what? Next month? Who cares about next month? We trying to go right now and live it up. I'm like, you know what? That's a great concept. We were taught to. So they didn't came out with the chicken, right? Customer service, terrible. They didn't ran out of chicken. It tell on itself. My wife loved Popeye's. I didn't even know what Popeye's was. Like, I didn't even know what it was. But she used to be like, Sunday, I want you on Sundays, every other Sunday. She's like, I want fresh Popeye's. I would have to go at 11 o'clock as soon as it opened because she said at 11 o'clock, the grease going to be like, she had this whole thing. I'm like, yo, you just can't pop up on them jokers on Tuesday. She's like, no, the grease is dirty. I'm like, the grease is dirty. The chicken don't taste the same. You got to go at 11 o'clock. It's hot. They put it in fresh. I'm like, unbelievable. <laughs> you ain't got to do that with Chick-fil-A. You can go anytime. It's always fresh. They run out of chicken. Nobody count the numbers. But that's what happened. Chick-fil-A ain't going to never run out of chicken. Why? Because they sell chicken sandwiches with a pickle. No, no, I want you to catch it. CJ said your superpower. Your superpower is in, in being. Your superpower is being good. Your superpower is being what? And you got a whole world that when you are authentic, they challenge you. That's the real problem. The real problem is not that my daughter wasn't beautiful. If you look at my daughter's picture, I'm not saying it because of me. My wife, praise God, her family. My wife, my daughter is beautiful, but she went to a white school that said as a black girl, let me touch your hair. Is that I had a teacher ask her, is that real? So my daughter's struggling. Why? Because she ain't black enough to be black. And she ain't white enough to be white. So she going through life, regardless of what I tell her, how beautiful she is, regardless of what the environment is that I set up, she has to go in the world as telling her something counterproductive to who she really is. And so every time we go outside, most of you would be filthy rich if you could be you. But every time you try to be you, somebody challenging you. So when I say I don't drink, I ain't never, I ain't mad at nobody to drink. But now all of a sudden, because I don't drink or if I want to not eat meat, you a vegan? <laughs> and I was a vegetarian before it was popular. So now my cousin's vegan. So when I go to the events, now they're like, oh, they eat turkey. But when I was the only one and my wife was the only one not doing it, everybody wanted to dog us out. So that's what happens. When you try to be you, people going to dog you out. When you try to be you, people going to try to push you and bully you and challenge you because you ain't being what they think you should be. And most of you going to break. And that's why you're not a one percenter. I'm going to say it one more time. Most of you going to break. Most of you going to break because you're not a one percenter. Most of you going to make. And what you don't know about them is they don't know who they are. And they not happy with their life. And they don't want you to be happy because they not happy. And if you would just stand up and say, this is who I am. I break my neck every time I'm in Houston to get them grits, bro. I break my neck. Why? Because they taste like my grandma grits, 1%. I have got grits. That's watery, whatever that is. That's I don't know what, like, that's like. 
Breakfast Club, the consistency of the grits. I just go get grits and eggs. That's it. Sometimes chicken, but I ain't really chicken ain't that. But the grits and egg, because I was in poverty and that's what we used to eat. And then when I was homeless, I just made grits and egg. So it's like a nostalgia. The grits and the cheese at the breakfast club, the, cons the consistency. I'm going to tell you all what. I, I'm going to tell you, look, I'm only one thing I've heard about is that I never got to go on and be like, I'm, at the, I'm eating right now. I'm in Houston. I'm at the breakfast club. I just be like, Tobe did it. I just look at all the stars that did it. Like, man, all these stars did it. I didn't get to do it yet. And every time I come, they do that thing in the morning when you first get there. Bye, bye, bye. Authentic. Ain't nobody else doing it. And if you would just be yourself, that's all. I got a couple things, but if I could just get you to leave out of here and no longer be what they want you to be, but be who you are, will call to be, you're going to go to a whole nother level. Go buy what you want to buy, not what they want you to buy. For real, live the way you want to live and not how they want you to live. I'm telling you, you're going to go to a whole level. Why? Because you're going to be different. You're going to be rare. And that rarity is what's going to take you to the next level. Anytime you common. It... Hey there, welcome to my channel, Fresh Personal Growth Motivation. Today I speak Being Your Authentic Self 2024. You have exposed wealth because what wealth does is wealth don't serve a sandwich wealth. Prepares a table, missed what I just said wealth prepares a table. Wealth don't make sure everything is in order before it comes out money don't order out not money things throw money don't care because all it wants is when you get to a place of wealth i don't even think about paying my rent my mortgage no more don't think in months no more years ain't don't got to think 30 days at time i am not broke i am atm machine i am not broke i create money and broke mentality creep was going to a cost month lab my wife my too much money I am out, I am like, real is too much money, like when, what you going to do, give it all to your kids, my son ain't scared of money, chat, chat, my life is spread of money, you give my man, grant you give 